Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Wu from the Contact Lens Institute of Nevada. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what to do if you have a yellow spot on your eye. The most common thing that happens if you see a yellow spot on your eye is it happens really, really close to the colored part of your eye but it doesn't go on to the colored part of your eye. So if you notice a yellow spot on the white part of your eye that does not go on to the colored part of your eye, that is probably something called a pinguecula. A pinguecula is a fancy term that sounds really funny and sometimes it's, it's hard to pronounce and hard to spell, but it's actually something that's, that's very simple. On the white part of your eye, there's a clear membrane that covers the entire part of the white part of your eye. What can happen is over time with sun damage, from UV light, from wind, and if you live in places such as Southern California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Mexico, places that are kind of near the equator where there, there's lots of UV light, it can cause some sun damage to your eye. So what a pinguecula is, is that clear membrane that's covering the white part of the eye and it builds almost like a callus. So just think of that tissue kind of building layers on itself over and over and over again. And again, it's usually caused from UV damage and wind damage. So when you're a child, this usually doesn't affect you until you get a bit older. So I start to see it in some teenagers, then people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. That's when I'm really starting to notice that yellow bump on the eye that can be getting worse and worse and worse. Some of the treatment options are actually quite easy that you can do at home. You can get some artificial tears from any sort of drugstore, grocery store, ordering them online, and you'll use those as frequently as you need to. Sometimes you might notice that it flares up. Maybe you went on the lake or you were at a beach all day where there was lots of sunlight and you notice that yellow bump is getting bigger or more inflamed. In those cases, artificial tears can provide a lot of relief and help calm down the eyeball. If your eye gets very inflamed where that yellow bump is, you may need to see your eye doctor. In that case, they can prescribe other eye drops such as steroids or other medicated eye drops to help calm down the inflammation and get rid of the redness. Pinguecula's are not harmful. They're not going to affect your eye long term. It's nothing to worry about. It just does get worse over time if it's left untreated. So if you don't wear sunglasses, it can definitely get worse over time. The best way to prevent that from getting worse is lubricating the eyes with artificial tears and wearing sunglasses anytime you're outside. The second most common thing where if you see a yellow bump on your eye is something called a pterygium. Now, if you notice a yellow bump on your eye and it's actually going from the white part of your eye all the way over to the colored part of your eye, that is something called a pterygium. It's caused by the same things. It's caused by UV damage, sunlight, and wind. Or sometimes if your eye is just exposed to the air, if you have some sort of ocular condition where your eyelids just don't shut properly or your eye is just very open to the air, sometimes that can cause a pterygium as well. The same treatment options exist. You can use artificial tears and see your eye doctor for some more medicated approaches if it does bother you or seems to flare up. And in some cases where it gets really bad, so if the pterygium starts growing over the colored part of the eye, all the way over to where the pupil is, the black part of your eye, then it's time to intervene with surgery. There's special doctors out there that can actually take that pterygium off where they're actually peeling that tissue back and removing it from the colored part of the eye. And last thing is something that you may need to be worried about. If you have a yellow spot on your eye and it is changing shape and size very rapidly or causing discomfort, that could be a very rare form of eye cancer. If you are worried that that could be what it is, definitely get in to see your eye doctor because that is considered an emergency. It's much more rare than the other two, 
but it is definitely an emergency that needs to get looked at. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about all sorts of different eye issues. And if you ever wanna book an appointment with us, go ahead and click the link below so that you can book an appointment. And I am very excited to meet with you and chat with you.